Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome back to your love reading for the month of October. We're going to check in, Aries, and see where are your emotions, feelings, thoughts in regards to this connection here with this particular person, okay? But first, we're going to start with the Moonology card here. And see in regards to your emotions, Aries, how you feel towards this person, okay? What is it that your higher self source wants to inform you in regards to this connection here? Or what needs to be the focus here with the moon phases here, my loves? And then we'll pull from the raw tarot deck here to see how this person feels towards you, Aries. And then stick around and I'll pull out the tarot cards here and we'll get further clarification, Aries, okay? All right, thank you, Source. Thank you, Angels, Ancestors. What messages we have here for the Aries placements, okay? And this may resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, or South No, and also Cross Watchers, my loves. You are welcome here as well. All right, so we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. <clears throat> Excuse me. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Wow. So this is all in reference to an ending of a cycle that is near Aries. An ending of a cycle that is close. An ending of a cycle that is time. It's simply time. We all go through this part and phases through our life, throughout our life experiences. Okay, Aries? So this is something that's been ongoing for a while and there has been a change, okay? Rather, if that's in a positive way for you or a negative way. But however, I'm going to definitely say that this is more, I feel, in a positive perspective because this is something that's been long overdue, I feel, okay? So I definitely want to get into that and see why we have the end of a cycle approaches or what particularly, because we have cycles that we end every day. Aries, okay? Rather, if it's mentally, physically, emotionally, there is a cycle ending every day. There is a layer falling off of us every day. We make mistakes every day. We learn from them every day, okay? It's levels to this shit, okay? So don't feel bad. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't feel however you're feeling towards this way or feeling. Just take it as a lesson learned. If we don't make mistakes, how can we be great, okay? literally all right so let's check into the person that you are around let's see how they feel in regards to this connection you two have okay let's see where their emotions or feelings are now this is someone that you are around every day on a routine or someone that you're thinking about or someone that you have been exchanging your energies with here on a daily or thinking about my loves on a daily Aries okay all right, so the raw tarot deck here is for the person that is thinking about you. Things that they may not say directly to you, but thinking about, okay? This is a ready to art deck, so what comes out, comes out, okay? All right, thank you, source, angels, ancestors. What's the messages here? How does Aries person feel towards them? How does my sexy ass fire sign person feel towards this connection spirit how does they feel how do they feel spirit thank you source <clears throat> they are watching you okay so this person is watching you they may be watching your social media websites okay if you have any type of platforms or again if this is a person that's around you in a daily routine if you may work with this person Okay, they are watching you, Aries, okay? Oh, wow. Let's see what else we have here. Thank you, Source, Angels, Ancestors. What else we have here in reference to this person and their feelings? I fucking love you. Wow, I like it. They're very direct, just like you are, Aries, okay? So this person fucking loves you, okay? They love the shit out of you. You're just amazing to this person, and they fucking love you. Just hands down, point blank. I like it. You are the shit, okay? So this person feels like, damn, Aries, you are the shit. You're just all that in the bag of chips, okay? And they just cannot stop watching you here, okay? 
Wow. Thank you, Source. And what's at the bottom of the deck? At the bottom of the deck, we have, I'm telling the truth. Okay. So for whoever this person is, they're telling the truth. Okay. They're not sugarcoating shit. They're not making shit up. They want you to know that they are telling the truth. If that is needed to be a confirmation for someone. Okay. Wow. So let's pull the traditional tarot deck out here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what tarot deck has to say here. Okay. Thank you, source. Thank you, ancestors. Okay, wow, we have a Knight of Cups that wanted to jump out. Some of y'all, this person may have water placements in their chart as a Cancerian, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or they're just in the water element here because they're wanting to come towards you and apologize or communicate with you from a place from their heart space, okay? Wow. All right, thank you, Source. Why do we have They Are Watching You? Who are and eels watching my sexy ass Aries, okay? Why are they watching Aries, spirit? Let's get further details in regards to the energy of the watching card here. Wow, we have the Queen of Wands. This is your energy, my loves, looking sexy, might I add, okay? So this person that's watching you, you are very attractive to this person, okay? This person is real turned on by you, okay? They think that you are hot, romantic, and attractive, okay? This is the type of energy from the Queen of Wands. She's very attractive. She's smart, intelligent, very creative, okay? And very confident in herself, as you can see, okay? So this person might like the fact that you're very confident or the fact that you're very attractive to them, okay? And then we have the World card. Wow. Again, another statement of a cycle completing. This is a major arcana card. This is, again, referencing to uh, ending to a cycle here, okay, and a new beginning, okay? So I feel like this person is aware that you may be coming up across or upon an ending of a cycle of your own as well as this person, okay? Wow, thank you, Spirit. Why do we have I fucking love you? What is it that this person loves about Aries, Spirit? Thank you, Source, Angels, Ancestors. Why do we have I fucking love my Aries? This person loves you, okay? I'm not surprised that this person is in love with you, okay? Thank you, Source. Thank you, Ancestors. What is it about this person? The Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This person may have Earth placements in their chart, or they simply want to invest in you because they love you, okay? They fucking love you, and because they fucking love you, yes, I'm going to say it just like it's on the card, okay? So just because they fucking love you, they want to not only love you, okay, but they want to invest in you. With the Seven of Pentacles, that's my investing card. They want to invest in this connection invest in their love towards you wow beautiful i like it aries i love the energies here congratulations you deserve it my love let's see what else about this person why do we have you are the shit okay card jumps out here clarifying the shit we have the five of ones here's your energy my loves we have the five of ones we know the five of ones represents independency energy as well meaning self energy okay so this person may have conflicts or inner conflicts going on we know that the five of wands is inner conflicts and the um five of swords is out or externally thank you conflicts so with the wands here this is meaning inner conflicts things that are going on in the inside how you're feeling in the inside aries Versus how you're feeling on the outside and how others externally are showing their feelings towards you. These are inner conflicts that maybe you may be having in conflict with yourself, Aries, in regards to this person. Because the way that they may have been expressing themselves towards you or how you are expressing yourself, Aries, towards this person. And you're having inner conflicts because you may not be sure or you're not aware if they feel the same way you feel. Or these are the type of inner conflicts that may be going back and forth in your mind and your thoughts, okay? And it's have your emotions here running high for some of you all. And some of y'all in referencing to there may be more than one person around or aware of what's going on or involved here, okay? And you're having to um, be more in the energy of, you know, having this to possibly 
affect you in the inside and you want to make sure to keep yourself grounded or this person is needing to keep themselves grounded because we did have at the bottom of the deck i'm telling the truth so it may be something in regards to this person and how to and how they handled a situation here from your past okay and they're wanting to let you know now however that they are telling the truth because we did have the knight of cups wanting to show itself okay so be mindful of that and is why what may be causing the inner conflicts because you may not be sure this person may not be sure but they know that they do love you they do see you as the shit all that in the bag of chips they see you as very attractive here being the queen of ones energy here this person may be a fire sign aries okay or have fire placements in their chart or again we have air placements i'm sorry earth placements here as well capricorn virgo or taurus okay so just take that where it resonates but i definitely want to get one more card here to clarify why do we have the world card here and the ending of a cycle okay why do we have the world card here and the ending of a cycle for aries and my loves, if the reading has resonated with your spirit and your higher self, don't forget to like, subscribe, okay? If you're new here, welcome, my loves. Be a part of family where we love and we evolve together, okay? And if so, hit that notification bell as well, my loves, so that way you can be notified for when your readings are available and up next. Also, keep up with the community tab where I do keep you up to date as well with daily enlightenment for your soul for your spiritual journey and also to keep you updated for when the next live i do or your next reading my loves okay thank you source angels ancestors why do we have the world card here why do we have the world card wow the ace of wands okay this is again more fire energy your energy and element is all over the table round which is sexy as is aries okay but this person sees you as wanting to have a new brand new spanky beginning okay and very romantic and i'm definitely seeing a lot of you know fire energy here so this person you two turn each other on okay i'm just gonna say that because i feel it all in my aura here this person is really attractive to you okay wow beautiful so that my loves has completed your reading for the month of october in reference to how this person feel towards you and how they want to move forward with you in the month of october i hope again the reading resonated with who it needed to resonate with okay and again don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell my love remember your health is your wealth Mwah. bye bye